Welcome to episode 14 of the Automation Podcast, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and on today's show, we'll be discussing how you transfer files to your Allen Bradley HMI using a USB memory stick. And we're going to talk about the PanelView Plus and the PanelView component in particular. So let's start with the PanelView Plus. I get this question all the time. Maybe they don't have an updated transfer utility. Maybe their Ethernet cable doesn't work. Maybe they just don't know what the IP address of the PanelView Plus is. I don't know. But as soon as I mention you can copy the .mer runtime file to the PanelView Plus using the USB sticks, most clients want to get off the phone and go do it. But no, wait. There's one other piece of information you need to know. For the PanelView Plus to find your .mer, it needs to be located in a specific folder on your USB stick. And that folder is Rockwell Space Software, so Rockwell Software, backslash RSVME, backslash Runtime. Now the cool thing is if you put your USB stick into your PanelView Plus, and from the configuration menu, you browse it by going to File Management, going Load Files, and choosing a source of external storage. When the PanelView Plus does not find that directory there, it will create it for you. So it's kind of an easy way to do it. If you get the PanelView Plus on your desk anyways, just stick it in, browse it, and it'll create the directory for you, and you don't have to worry about making a typo. In any case, once that directory exists on your USB stick, you can put your MER file in that runtime directory, and then when you stick it into your PanelView Plus, you'll be able to copy that MER file over to your internal storage. Now notice I said copy. While the panel will allow you to run off your USB stick, because there's so many different vendors making USB sticks out there, your performance could be quite different than what you would expect. So I highly recommend, and so does Rockwell, that you copy a .mer off of your USB stick and onto your internal storage of your PanelView Plus. Now another side note here, if you're going to flash your PanelView Plus 6, you can also use your USB stick. And it is a lot faster than trying to do it over Ethernet. So just a side note there about flashing your PanelView Plus 6. Now let's switch gears and talk about the PanelView component. It is slightly different. So the call I get from clients all the time is, hey, how do I download to my PanelView component? It's like not intuitive. And you're absolutely right. Prior to version 6 of CCW, what you would do is save or export your PanelView component project as a CHA file. I think that stands for Component HMI Archive but you can make up your own acronym. The point is if you're in Connected Components Workbench, you need to right click on your PanelView component project and export it to a CHA. Now once you have that CHA file, you can put that in the root folder. Yes, there's no special directory. Put it in your root folder of your USB stick, then bring it over to your PanelView component. Now you can either use your PanelView components built-in menu, or you can log into your PanelView component using Ethernet or USB, and perform the file transfer from that window. Now, whether you're using a PanelView Plus or a PanelView component, these procedures are in the PDF user manual. If you don't have it installed on your hard drive, just go to ab.com forward slash literature and search on either PanelView Plus or PanelView component or choose the product group from the product listing when you first pull up that web page. And the user manual for both products has this procedure. So it's all documented. You don't have to rewind the podcast and listen to it again. Additionally, in the blog post for this podcast, I'll provide links to the automation blog where I talk more about the PanelView Plus 6. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Podcast. If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please feel free to share them with us. And you can do so by replying to the blog post for this podcast at theautomationpodcast.com. And you can always stay up to date with all the Insights websites at insightsandautomation.com or by connecting with me on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, where I'm known as Mr. Sean Tierney. Now, before we go, let's take a look at what's coming up on our next podcast. Tune in for episode 15, where we'll discuss the different ways for accessing the PanelView Plus's configuration mode. Well, that's it for episode 14 of the Automation Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Tierney, and until next time, peace.